Testing web apps with Playwright. Hey, everybody. My name is Debbie O'Brien. I'm a senior technical PM at Microsoft. Hi, everyone. My name is Vansh. I'm a senior product manager with the Azure, Demo, uh, Azure Developer Tools team. So, Vansh, I have a couple of teams here at Microsoft, and they've been testing their application. But they've been coming up with these problems. They said, authoring tests is difficult. There's a slow inner loop for authoring and debugging. They told me failing tests are not maintained, lack of visibility to debug tests, flaky test failures are difficult to reproduce, and running tests isn't reliable and tests are slow, and frequent execution is expensive. So Vanch, obviously, I said to them, you haven't heard about Playwright, <laughs> and they hadn't. So Playwright is open source, and it enables fast and reliable end-to-end -end testing for your modern web apps. You test across all modern browsers with a single API, and it works with popular languages like JavaScript, Python, and of course, .NET. So Playwright has so many cool features. And there's a lot of things like full isolation, fast execution, no trade-off limits, resilient, no flaky tests, and powerful tooling like CodeGen, the Playwright Inspector, and the Trace Viewer, which I'm going to uh, show you a little bit about today. Because let's start and break down our problems. They've said to us, getting a test script that works involves a lot of hit and trial. And the biggest issue was educating developers to increase test coverage. And I said to them, well, we've got CodeGen in Playwright. What CodeGen does, it generates your test by clicking through the website. And you can assert the visibility of the text and the value. And it's really easy to get started with testing. All you got to do in .NET is run this command. And what it's going to do is it will open up a browser window and then it will open up the Playwright Inspector. And as we click through our website, using the website like a user would, it's going to generate the test. Now, this is the demo I show the teams. So they put in the website they wanted to test, and they started using it like a user would. They started searching for an Xbox controller that they wanted to add to their shopping cart. Now, you're watching me click and do all these interactions, but you're not noticing over in the Playwright Inspector all this code that is actually just being generated for you. And the toolbar at the top lets you generate assertions. So we can assert that that value is there, and we can modify that. Now we add our product into our cart, and we can go and assert another value into this box here. We can assert the visibility of this number, and we can continue, place that order, and then we can remove that order, and we can finish the user journey of that test. So all I've done in a couple of seconds was basically just click through the site. And here it is, my full test written for me with no knowledge needed of testing even, right? That is the amazing thing. Even my assertions are right there. And I can literally then just copy that code, put it into my editor, and run my test. So really, really easy solution, CodeGen. So then they said, but Debbie, failing tests are not maintained. And they said, like, they struggle to identify the cause of test failures and the lack of logs. And video recordings make it worse. And they're so right. Videos are terrible. Um, and they said, like, we're going to skip the failing test. I'm like, no, don't skip tests. With Playwright, we have the solution of the trace viewer. And with the trace viewer, you can see a full trace of your tests. You can step through each action, see the network and console. You can pop out the DOM snapshot and inspect it and easily pick a locator. And you just add this little snippet into your, into your test. And then you can run the trace viewer locally. And you can also run it on CI. So this is the trace viewer. And as you can see, that test that we literally created earlier with CodeGen, I'm hovering over each action. And it's showing me everything that was done in that browser window. So I can easily see you know, what was happening. Is that the test I wanted? I can debug it easily. I can even go to the timeline view. And I can select a specific point in time and focus only on the actions of that time. I can see the network request specific to that timeline. And I can see everything else, such as the source code, which is really important to see that there, the console, if there's any errors. And I can see also the locator. I could pick the locator because it's a DOM snapshot. As I click on it, it's going to show me the locator for that specific element on the page. And if I wanted to debug more, I can literally pop this out, the DOM snapshot, into a browser window, and I can inspect the code. So debugging made so much easier. So the team were really excited. But then what happened? They came back with more problems. And they said, running tests is unreliable. They went, the team spends one to two days per week on flakiness. And I was like, oh my gosh. And tests are turned off for PR reviews? No, because they take over 45 minutes. So a couple of solutions here. I said, well, first of all, Playwright is the solution, right? Because we've got auto weights for checks to pass before performing actions. And Playwright auto retries your assertions for you. So just like there's less flakiness. And tests are run in parallel, which makes them super fast. So again, they were really happy. 
but we've got people writing lots and lots of tests and that's taking a lot more time to run those tests for PO reviews. And I said to them, whoa, I know a guy called Vanch who's working on the Playwright service where you can run tests at scale with browsers in the cloud. Vanch, would you like to tell us more about the Playwright service? Sure. So Microsoft Playwright testing is a managed service that extends Playwright open source framework. It is a cloud service designed to scale running Playwright tests. You can use the service to bring down the time required to run your testing. One important aspect of the service is it's used in build pipelines. Teams usually set these up to run on a daily uh, basis or on every PR. While no one is waiting on these nightly builds, if a PR takes time, it really slows down the number. Playwright testing service helps expedite the PRs and increase feature velocity. Not just that, if you are developing in your local environment, and you want to make sure your code changes work, just by running the same set of tests on multiple browsers increases the size of a test suite by a lot. The service can help in this situation by running the suite fast. Another advantage of using the service is that you can test on multiple operating systems and browser combination. This improves your test graph. Mm -hmm. Now let's see how the service works. This diagram shows how tests are run without the service. When you run the command in npx playwright test from your CI pipeline or local dev machine and specify workers, playwright OSS kicks off workers in parallel. These workers are lightweight processes. Each worker gets its own browser instead. The browsers that these workers connect to are open on the same machine because playwright print work is used locally. These parallel browsers are a limiting factor in how much you can scale in a local setup because they consume resources which are limited. This problem is more pronounced in CI machines where resources are even lesser. If you increase the workers, the test will start to become clicky as more browsers will be opened on the same machine and they will fight for the same resources that are available, which are less to begin with. When you run the same set of tests on the service, everything remains same from Playnet framework, like your environment and your tests. All your data remains on your machine where you are running the tests from. The workers that you spin up, they now connect to browsers hosted in Microsoft Playwright testing service. This gives you the ability to scale because these lightweight processes can now connect more browsers simultaneously. Since the browsers are hosted on the service, you can also choose the operating system where they are running. For example, if you want to test on Chromium running on Linux or Chromium running on Windows, you can do that with the service. Mm -hmm. Now look at this test run uh, that I executed from a GitHub action. These tests were run using the service and it finished 600 tests in just two minutes. With performance gains like this, teams can deliver faster and more confident. Mm -hmm. Integrating your existing test suite with the service is really easy. You don't need to change any of your tests. Just add a config that exists, extends your existing playwright config and add a couple of environment variables that are used to authenticate to the server. Now run your test by using the config file you just created and specify the number of workers that you want to use. It's really that easy. On the Playwright testing portal, you can see information about your test run, such as duration, number of workers used, and total available views. We are constantly improving the offering and we are working on adding reporting capabilities to the service very soon. Let me give you a sneak peek into it. Today, the activity log that you just saw contains very basic information about the test run. Very soon, these logs will contain more details such as CI information if you're running from CI pipelines and the status of the test run. You will be able to click on each of these items and see the details. Mm -hmm. You can see the results of all the tests that were run as part of this test, test run. You can also see the Git information that is coming from your CI pipeline. You, you can also open any of these tests and see the artifacts and screenshots associated with it. You can also see the trace viewers. This is the same trace viewer that you showed earlier. You can use it in the service portal and troubleshoot tests easy. This feature is not coupled with the cloud hosted browsers that we saw earlier. You could independently use it in your CI uh, machine on, or in your local set. Now let's quickly summarize what we saw so far. Microsoft Playwright testing enables you to run tests on cloud hosted browsers, giving the ability to run more tests in parallel and bring down, bring down the time uh, that is required to run your test. You can also improve your test coverage by running these tests on multiple operating systems and browser combination. You do not need to make any changes to your test code. The integration is really easy. 
We are also adding reporting capabilities to the service that can be used independently of cloud boosted routers. The service currently supports JavaScript and TypeScript with Playwright runner. We will be adding support for other languages too. .NET is a priority and we are actively working to this. So Debbie, what do you think about it? I think it looks absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to bring that back to the teams and get them to check it out. And also so excited for the .NET support too. So check out the Playwright open source, uh, the docs here, and check out also the docs for the Microsoft Playwright testing. And of course, join our community on Discord and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all things testing with Playwright. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Vanj. Happy testing. Bye. Bye.